Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's episode we're gonna have a look on the Bitcoin price as usual but also we're gonna have a look on the S&P 500 mini futures and also on some uh, altcoins. So we're gonna do a complete general market TA what is going on right now and what we should expect here to come in the next couple of hours and days and weeks. But before we start I have to do two little announcements. The first one is that uh, today is the last day where you can participate participate on our $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway. The video for the subscription is popping up at the end of this video so make sure to participate after you have watched this video because later on today I gonna do the selection of the winner of this week's $10 giveaway so today is the last opportunity to participate and from next Monday on from next week on we're gonna have the new $10 Bitcoin giveaway for next week all right and the second thing is that uh, from this Sunday on I'm going to go for a longer vacation so for the next couple of weeks I will be traveling uh, through Italy so I'm gonna go through uh, different uh, cities different places so it is possible that my videos will uh, come to a different time every day because I'm traveling so it is possible that sometimes the video is very late or very early and so on so I'm already apologize right now for maybe a bit uh, later uh, videos but I will do daily TA videos so don't worry I will be traveling but I will also have time to make the videos and also the TA because uh, I will have with me my notebook and uh, if you were following me since uh, a couple of months or years already you would have known that everything started with a notebook so um, yeah I'm gonna just use again this uh, notebook quality to do to do these uh, daily TA videos and uh, yeah the quality is quite a good but of course not like this one here when I'm uh, in my office so here I can uh, do of course high quality videos also for the live streams uh, but uh, nonetheless even though the internet is not the best uh, in Italy especially where I will uh, be traveling uh, more in the south side uh, it should be enough to do the daily TA videos all right and now we can start with our Bitcoin technical analysis. Later on, we will also have a look uh, on the S&P 500 mini futures and some altcoins as well. But let's quickly go through the lower time frames here on the Bitcoin because uh, yesterday we had this potential breakout from this uh, rising wedge here. And as you can see, it played out perfectly. We came almost to our target down here towards the $9,000. I still think there is a high chance that we could go lower that we didn't see yet the bottom of this play out. And the problem is that this play out is stronger than I thought because we didn't recover immediately back up. We were staying yesterday in this area down here in, and even dropped below. We have also now in the one hour here RSI completely oversold. It's coming up here towards the 50 level, but I think that most likely we're gonna get rejected again here towards 9,300 to 9,000. $200. So if you look for a short opportunity, maybe watch out for this uh, resistance now here at 9270 because I think we could be heading a lower right now. Even though I was bullish yesterday, but since we didn't close uh, the daily candle where I wanted it to close, currently it is possible that we're going again uh, to create possible lower lows if we continue like that. But let's check that out later in the bigger time frames here in the one hour it looks like that we could have a little breather here to the upside but this area over here I think could be the new resistance so watch out for it and also if you go over to the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we are getting problems here at the first middle line here the next one would be up here at $9,200 MACD could have a bullish cross so it is possible that we could shoot here towards $9,300 and retest it but if we have the confirmation that now $9,300 is the new resistance then I would look for a short opportunity and not for a long unless we are able to recover above 9300 and also build up a support above but it doesn't look like that currently all right and now let's switch over to the four hour time frame because here you can see that the 20 moving average is perfectly lining up with this resistance here at around 9270 and this is also my target for a possible short position in case that we are not able to break through again here to the 
upside because we are having now this play out of this uh, rising wedge and it is very likely since that we are trading again in this bigger falling wedge which is a bullish pattern that we could go down here towards this uh, low here at around nine thousand dollars so we could test here 9k and also create a higher low here so far we had this higher low but if we continue to drop watch out here for this 8950 exactly if we are trading below 8950 then we could easily create here a lower low so we could take out all these lows that we had here and bounce towards the 8450 dollar level so here at the bottom of this potential falling wedge where also the 200 daily moving average is lining up but this is what we're gonna have to watch later on the daily time frame currently we are in the four hour and here also as you can see this area up here is looking like the perfect short opportunity so a huge resistance is up here also because yesterday we had this nice pump here but uh, it almost looks like a Bart Simpson pattern here where we had this uh, push to the upside consolidation and then again we immediately barred it back down so this is where what you see very often when we have this low volatility on Bitcoin it can happen to any direction also to the downside then consolidation and then pump again to the upside but here in the four hour again it looks like that we are again more bearish and we're shifted to the downside so we should think about to short the rallies here and not try to catch along at the moment and now let's go over to the Bollinger Band in the four hour because here we're trading in the lower part and also the middle line here is between 9260 to 9300 dollars so in theory we could easily now retrace back up here retest this 9300 dollar and if we are getting rejected we could easily again drop here towards the bottom of around 9000 dollar MACD is also still shifted to the downside so you see even though we could see here a push towards 9300 if we are not able to build up a support above and also here in the 4 hour create a, a bullish cross that could take us again here in the upper area we are definitely shifted to the downside and for the next couple of hours and days most likely we should look for short the market right now and now very important let's open up the daily time frame because here you can see what happened yesterday we didn't close above the 50 daily moving average we even went below the 20 daily moving average so all the support that we were building up here above the 20 and then 50 daily moving average is disappeared so we crashed down and we closed below the 50 and 20 daily and also today you can see that this is now perfectly giving us resistance up here at 9270 RSI is also starting to trade below the 50 stochastic is here overbought and probably is gonna come down now as soon as we're gonna start here the dump and uh, my target is here to reach the 200 daily moving average which is touching here perfectly at the bottom of this falling wedge so I think it is very likely now that we are back again in this falling wedge that we could drop towards here $8,450 dollar and bounce from here so i think that the dump is not over yet and that we could easily see here the price move towards the 200 daily moving average and this is also where i'm planning to open up a long position probably i'm not gonna short it right now because i like more to open up longs than shorts even though at the moment if you short it you will get funding rates so you can keep up your short for many days and you will get paid in funding rates every eight hours uh, depending on the size of your trade and uh, if we drop down here and also create lower lows here i would target here the eight thousand four hundred fifty dollar level after we're gonna touch here this point it doesn't mean that we immediately will start the big bull run it is possible that we're just gonna have a big bounce from it and then get rejected again somewhere here at around nine thousand dollar and then continue the downwards movement but since we are in this falling wedge it is possible that this could be then the bottom if we're going down there and then we're gonna gear up here for the breakout of this big falling wedge and then have the retest of ten thousand dollar again but this is what we have to see what is gonna happen in the next couple of days and if we are able to go and test the 200 daily moving average or not but this is the point where i will buy some more cheap bitcoins and also i will start to scale in some longs even though we could even drop down towards 7000 and 6500 but i think here starting at around 8450 is a good entry where also the 200 daily moving average is lining up and now since we are in the daily time frame let's first have a look here in the bollinger band and then also go over to the altcoins 
So in the Bollinger Band, we are trading now in the lower part. So also here you can see in theory, we could easily drop towards $8,800. MACD still shifted to the upside, but I think if we're gonna stay in this area here at around $9,000 and we're not able to go again above $9,300, then we could see here a bearish cross and this could lead into a major sell-off towards $8,800, even down to $8,450, where the 200 daily moving average is, where also our target is. All right, and now let's go quickly through some altcoins because um, since Bitcoin crashed yesterday and also today still dumping, we see the same exactly thing also on the important altcoins like here Ethereum. And very important here on Ethereum is that currently we are trading right at the top of this uh, resistance that is coming down here, very similar to Bitcoin. So Ethereum is still trading very similar to Bitcoin, even though I think it is still very undervalued. Um, but Ethereum should be worth much, much more than uh, what we're seeing right now. So at the moment, $240, in my opinion, is still very much underrated and uh, should be way, way higher. But I think as soon as we can break here, this main resistance that is coming down here, which currently is around at $255, I think we could see here fireworks to the upside. And I'm also happy to be part in Ethereum. I have some Ethereum, which I'm hodling since a very long time. So I think one day here we will see nice fireworks to the upside. Maybe not right now, but in the future for sure. And uh, here, here you can see that currently we are bouncing from the 20 daily moving average, which is a very uh, bullish sign. But here to buy some more Ethereum, I'm targeting here maybe the 0.618 Fib line at $150. Same like if Bitcoin would reach $6,500 to $7,000. Um, but better I would target here the 200 daily moving average, which currently is here at around $200 $290. So if the price is coming down here, this could be my a good entry point if you want to long or buy some Ethereum as well for the longer term. I'm talking here about the long term and not the short term because here we are in the daily and uh, for the long term, those coins here are the ones that I would keep for the long term. And um, yeah, especially Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, maybe Litecoin, XRP, like the top coiners. Uh, Litecoin uh, also is moving here in this channel here. Here we're also waiting for a breakout. I mean the top uh, the top altcoins are still moving sideways here, very similar like Bitcoin. They also took a hit today, but not significantly. XRP had this breakout from this uh, falling uh, wedge here. Currently is also uh, having this retracement back down to test at the 50 and 20 daily moving average. We got rejected here at the 200. I'm not very bullish on XRP, but um, you never know. I'm also holding a few XRP. Uh, I mean, based uh, here on uh, like on the chart since all time high till today, it's almost worth nothing anymore. But uh, on XRP, you never know. It can happen the same thing like uh, Dogecoin, for example, uh, when you have like this 100, 200, 300x pumps and dumps all the time. So on XRP, could be something similar also happen one day. But I think on the next bull run, maybe also here we're gonna see big fireworks to the upside. Because don't forget, as soon as new people is entering the market and FOMO is coming back in, the most people will look at like the top 10 uh, uh, coins and, and FOMO in in all of them, especially if they see that one coin is like very cheap. They think like, oh my God, with $1,000, I can buy like millions of these coins. While on Bitcoin, I can just buy like 0 0.1 or something like this. So that's why the top 10 coiners, I think they will all perform very nicely in the next big bull market as soon as FOMO is kicking in. And now let's go over to the coin that I'm very much uh, uh, want to FOMO in once we're gonna have a major drop because in my opinion, um, entering right now here in Chainlink, um, maybe not the best opportunity because uh, we are topping out here at around $6.60. Since Chainlink so far had a very great performance and I'm really looking into buying into this coin, but I want a bigger correction. I want here a retest of the 200 daily at least here at around $3.40 to enter here also into Chainlink because Chainlink is a coin that I don't own right now. 
and uh, yeah also here we are seeing a correction most likely we will come down here very quickly towards the five dollar range and possibly also bounce from it or test it at least because here we had previously a lot of uh, uh, resistance which right now could also turn into very strong support and the next coin that we're gonna have a look is uh, V chain V chain also had a very strong uh, breakout here to the upside we topped out here at 0 0.022 dollar and I'm targeting here also at least here the 20 daily moving average which is currently at the half of around 0 0.01 dollar but it can also easily go down if Bitcoin is continuing to, to push to the downside here towards the 0 0.0059 dollars which is here the bottom of this uh, support and also where the 200 daily moving average is uh, lining up. So also here on VeChain if you're interested in this coin maybe wait for a bigger retracement back down here to test one of these moving averages before you entering into this coin but I think also here maybe for the longer term uh, you will do very nice because also here we have seen a very nice performance the next coin is cardano exactly the same thing we had this uh, big breakout here to the upside currently we're retracing back down so watch out here for the 20 daily uh, moving average and if you want to buy in very cheap maybe wait here for the 200 daily moving average retest which is currently at around 0 0.05 dollars and uh, yeah Dogecoin, Dogecoin had this massive uh, pump and currently we are crashing down as expected. Also, if you want to laugh a little bit, yesterday I made a video about uh, Dogecoin, how you can buy it and get rich. But of course, this was just a joke and uh, was just for entertainment, nothing serious. But if you want to see it, uh, you can find it in my videos if you go to the playlist or videos into my channel. But as you can see, we are crashing down and my target is to go at least down here back to where we were before uh, the pump. And if you want to own some Dogecoin, then I would wait for a complete retracement back down. Because in my opinion, this was just a, um, a, a bubble that uh, popped now. And uh, yeah, if you want to own anyway some Dogecoin for whatever reason, maybe wait for a complete retracement back down to the 200 daily moving average, which is at 0 0.0023 dollar all right guys and now let's go to the s p 500 uh, mini futures uh, because uh, also here after breaking out from this consolidation wedge here uh, we tested here again three thousand two hundred dollar currently we got rejected but we, you can see that the 20 daily moving average is here perfectly here at our bottom of this potential descending triangle which could take us again towards three thousand dollar where the 200 daily moving average is the bullish thing here is that currently we're trading still above the 50 in the rsi and uh, also above the 20 daily moving average so even though we could be in this potential bearish pattern that at least for the lower time frames could take us a couple of days or hours uh, here towards three thousand dollar we're having now a golden cross here on the s p 500 mini future so the 50 daily moving average is crossing the 200 daily moving average it's a golden cross here in the s p 500 mini futures so usually when we see these golden crosses then we always have a big pump but currently of course we're not seeing that so let's wait what will happen but I think that the next move first we're gonna see a potential dump and then a bounce somewhere at around the 200 daily moving average here so somewhere at around three thousand dollar and if this happens I think also in the crypto space we're gonna see something similar and that's why I think also on Bitcoin we could drop easily towards the 200 daily moving average and then hopefully also bounce from it so i think if the s p 500 is gonna dump towards the 200 daily and then keep here the golden cross and bounce from it we could see there a potential bottom and a very good long and buy opportunity all right guys and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up for now leave a like if you like the content and please subscribe to my channel i do daily ta videos and also you can participate to the big bitcoin giveaway that i do with every 500 subscribers and of course you can also participate to the 10 dollar bitcoin giveaway that i do every week and also if you want to trade uh, bitcoin ethereum xrp eos over on uh, bybit like i do then go down below to the video description you find the link to sign up to bybit with my link you can get up to 90 dollars sign up bonus so definitely go and click my invitation link if you want to claim this bony and also trade over 
on Bybit. And the other exchange that I recommend you is BTRT. Here you can trade with Tether, all these coins that you see here. So if you have some Tether and you want to trade with Tether and not with your cryptos, then BTRT is the exchange for you. You can also find the invitation link down below here in the video description. There you can get up to $260 bonus based on your trading volume. And I'm doing also the live streams over on Twitch. So if you have Twitch, make sure also to join me over there. The link to my Twitch channel is also down below here in the video description. And if you have Discord, feel free also to join my free Discord trading chat. It's completely for free. Everyone is welcome. We have a great community over there. So shout out to all the Discord members. Thank you very much for watching my friends and we see us all in the next one when we're gonna select the winner of the $10 Bitcoin giveaway of this week. Bye!